What is up, crawler fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers? I'm your boy Josh with Texoma RC, and that is a CR18P baddie. Get body. What? So let's go, man. Check this thing out, dude. Looking like a freaking monster. So we're here to talk about body options, dude. Check them out. All right, so today on the rocks, we ran all these cars, five cars, five gates. That's not a body, but we had to show off Maximus just because Maximus the grape is the grapest, dude. All right, as you can see, we also have the C10. Not a super huge fan of either of these cuts. Uh, working on the rolling. When I was working on the rolling, uh, I tried to use heat and mess it up. I was doing a great job, dude, and I was like, oh, let me try some heat and uh, real easy to go too far too fast. So before we get into the actual body mounts, so this is actually the wide body kit or beast mode kit. Either way, you don't have to have beast mode. You could just get it with the wide body, but you could also just have your regular caged Slayer. I just cut the top off of my Slayer, my cage. See that? I just cut the top off, dude, right there. Whoosh, whoosh, done, all good, bro. I typically just use the thin CA glue to glue this stuff down uh, because I'm in a super hurry most of the time and it works really fast. But this is definitely a better option to put a little bit down with a toothpick, put your deals down. You have to let those dry for a certain period of time. Then you have to come back, put the other ones on, put your little stuff, put the body on. Dude, that takes freaking forever. So also one cool trick. This is how I mount my bodies. Uh, this is just dense foam. It helps the magnet to be able to move around. It keeps it from popping off quite as much. Uh, but I just used my Dremel tool to make a small hole. First, I used scissors to cut it. Then I used a Dremel tool to make a small hole. Put it in there. CA glue. Donezo. And check it out. Done. And if that wasn't good enough, you can always add a piece of Velcro. You can use the same foam to stack up uh, however high you need it to be. Uh, and then you can just put two sides of Velcro and then the magnets keep it lined up and the Velcro keeps it in place. So here's another cool option you can use with the foam. This is just Velcro on both sides and I needed to raise up the front end so I just made a piece to fit. This just goes on like this to catch right here. And now that goes on. So trick with Velcro if you did not know I would grab it by the shock tower here. I would push down if I was just you know, running the Velcro, just put pressure on it and wiggle it back and forth. And now it's going to be much stronger. So the mag, it came off, obviously there, the magnets come off before the Velcro. So that's why I like to use the combination of the two, the magnets line it up and get it centered. And then Velcro keeps it locked down for when you fall over, it doesn't pop off. All right. The cliffhanger and the red bolt are now running the slayer pro hd rails and mag mounts these mag mounts can be used with any of the rails however if you don't use the cage or some sort of struts on the standard rail uh, it's going to flex too much and uh, it could potentially break if you just use the rail with the slider it will likely break it's going to put a lot of tension, a lot of a lot of pressure right here on the rail and right back here, and it will break the rail. So you need something just to help support the rail if you have the standard rail. That does look rad. <laughs> the HD rails come with the mag mounts, and they come by themselves. You can get them with a the skid, you can get them with the links, and you can get them with the links, the sliders and the wheels all of those things are possible all right speaking of skids we have our old scx 24 style skid this comes with the cage slayer kit so you can pick it up by itself uh, should work with all flat rail designs uh, it will hang down and cover the links so if uh, on a normal rail it will hang down so it's not going to be flush because that's how our rails are made the slayer rails all right, so this is the Pro 18P style skid. What is different about it? Well, obviously it's longer. This is the SCX24 with the cool points. The transmission is mountable both ways. Here's the two next to each other. You can see this skid is exactly 10 millimeters longer. 
On this kit, the links mount 10 millimeters farther apart. So it makes the car overall 10 millimeters longer, obviously. So you can see here on the CR18P, we were running the 18P link set. Here we go, here's Goldilocks running the Pro 18P. Well, this is the old style before I fixed it, but this is the old 18P skid. It's still the same length. I just changed the design. By the way, this is how it goes. It's like this. The star goes to the rear. Cool, fancy star. So, but we were running, obviously, with the 18P transmission and skid. We were running on the 18P, the 18P link set that I made. So then, I made the link set that I had on the black buggy, the JLU rear lowers as front lowers, and the deadbolt front lowers as front uppers. And so, I really liked that link set. So I made it, and I put it on here. And it's extra long. Running the stretched link set with the old style skid is about the same length as a Gladiator. The 18P link set with a Pro skid is about the same length as a Gladiator. Running the stretched links with the Pro skid is longer than a Gladiator. You can see that. There's our 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters. So there you go, there's the two, that's our regular 18P with the 18P skid, 18P link set, and this is our 18P with SCX24 MoFo SMP with a stretched link set, and we're, like I said, one centimeter longer, 10 millimeters. So there you have it, the two link sets share the same rear end, but the front end is longer by about 10 millimeters. The link sets come with an axle specific steering link for the SCX24 or CR18P, and six pairs of links. It has both the long and the short, and with that, you basically get a deadbolt rear lower, a JLU front lower, a JLU rear lower. Up here is the deadbolt front lower. This short upper is basically the deadbolt front upper, and we have a JLU front lower. So with this, you should be able to make both shorties and you can make both long sets. So obviously you really only have enough to make one. You can pick any four pieces up for 10 bucks for replacements to add color or just to finish out and fill out another link set. On the four pieces, I will not be including the link balls, but in the full kit, you will get the link balls for everything. All right, so these are the two servo mounts, SCX24 and CR18P, soon to be coming for the FCX24, we'll get a solo riser and a rear link riser made for old Doug. So this is something that I was really struggling with. I'm really proud of this part. Finally, it's printing clean. I was struggling. If you check this out right here, this is what I've been dealing with all weekend. Stuff like this, just like this was not printing. It was printing fine, everything was printing fine. Uh, but for some reason, some setting got changed and I could not do overhangs at all. Like it just didn't do it for nothing. And my supports went to crap. I had a tough time figuring out what to stand. I thought I went back all to regular settings. I couldn't get it to work. I don't know. Anyways, I figured it out. I learned a lot about printing. See, look at all this, all these little marks. It's a nice part, but it's just, yeah. And then you look at this one. Wow look at that part that is a pretty pretty part we're printing much much better so if you've gotten parts man i apologize that i didn't know how to print i apologize that i'm just new at all this stuff i'm doing my freaking best i'm making it up as i go and learning every single day so anyways but that's the part it'll look much nicer than that just like this all right next up we have the sliders these are the pro sliders there's an, a version for the regular slayer if you already have the rails or something you want to add the sliders go ahead and pick them up on etsy.com but you can see they definitely add that texoma style just freaking awesome lines they work super duper good i love the clunk instead of hearing like the aluminum coming down and scraping and whatever these hit predictable slide nice and slippery loving it so these come you can get in the HD kit you can get it with the rails ready to go with the biggest wheels with the link set 
everything you need. Put it on your car, ball out. There you go, man. Check it out, Etsy.com, Texoma RC, no space. Dude, pick yourself up a Slayer. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. All right, here, so we've been talking about the bodies. Just real quick, this would be Beast Mode. Beast Mode comes with this cool uh, organic design on the roof and the cool holes on the hood. That's really all that makes it Beast Mode. Uh, other than that, it's just the wide body. You can get the same thing in wide body that has no holes on top, just like this. This is this would be an added on piece. These will be available also, extra add on pieces. Along with the Beast Mode add-on, we have cool new stars, and we also have mid-body panels. So the mid-body panel goes on right here. All right, so there you can see the mid-body panel. It has a little lip edge that catches on the cage. It can be glued in place. It does click in, but it's not gonna hold there. So just a little drop of CA glue is gonna hold it there permanently you won't be able to take it off. So I hope that you like it. I probably wouldn't leave the gold one on there, but I had to do it just to show up. All right, so there you have it, folks. Texoma can be bodied, bro. Let's go. I sure do appreciate you guys watching. Check out the Etsy store, etsy.com, Texoma RC. Man, pick yourself up a Slayer, dude, and let's slay this. Sheee. Rip till you flip, homie.